To the rundown of property belonging to African Global Operations, now Busasa will be auctioned this week. The three-day auction includes a passenger and commercial vehicle, catering, garden and office equipment. While well, the embattled company was put into liquidation after banks had announced that they would be closing all its accounts due to corruption allegations. Well, former Busasa CEO Angelo Agrizzi told the state capture inquiry they pocketed billions from government contracts using bribes. Let's go now to and says Govan Whittle for more details. Govan, you've been tracking down this story, I mean, since early on in the morning, uh, where you are right now, which is uh, Busasa premises. I understand that previously we've heard from uh, Jared Watson, who said that uh, auctioneers had no right uh, to absolutely you know, come there and auction and sell off the assets. It's still the case. What's the latest? Yeah, Jared Watson making those claims, of course, after um, the failed in court to prevent Kluta Murray from uh, continuing with the liquidation of the company. And over the last uh, two days or so, we've had public Oyama. viewings here at the Smart, uh, Smart Campus o uh, owned by uh, Bosasa African Global Operations. Um, and we've had a lot of different uh, people coming through showing interest um, in acquiring the property, not only the vehicles or, of course, the copper smelter, which is one of the big ticket items here, um, but I'm um, joined by a spokesperson uh, for Park Village Auctioneers, Mr. Clive Lazarus, uh, to speak about what kind of people we can expect, but just to respond firstly to these claims by Jared Watson that, that uh, what's happening here is illegal, and he essentially says that the auctioneers don't have the right to sell this. So what's your response? Uh, we can assure the listeners and the viewers that the auction is taking place. The liquidators, as well as Park Village Auctions and Bidder's Choice, will guarantee that all items sold will be free of any hypothetic, free of any alien whatsoever, and it is an unreserved auction for the items being sold tomorrow, and the highest bidder will be getting his goods. The auction is taking place, and the auction will take place, and it will be sold to the highest bidder. Uh, for tomorrow. And uh, which legal standing allows you to go ahead with the auction? Uh, the liquidators have won a Supreme Court of Appeal court case and we take our instructions from the liquidators and they have given us the assurance that the auction is taking place uh, tomorrow. All right, and uh, we've seen uh, lots of people, dozens of people coming through here to register for tomorrow's auction. A lot of interest from different uh, kinds of people. Just let's begin with the kind of crowds you're expecting. How many people do you think will show up on day one? Uh, for tomorrow, the motor vehicles, there's been a large demand from motor dealers to the end users as these vehicles are extremely clean. They're in very good condition, despite some of them having a high kilometers. They've been well maintained and serviced. So we are expecting in the region between 350 people for tomorrow. And uh, there's been a large interest as well for the effect for the premises. That's the premises situated that we are on today. That's and the smart campus. And then, of course, uh, the copper smelter. What's the interest like there? Uh, the copper smelter as well, there has been some interest um, and I think that there has been demand uh, for the machinery definitely and for the premises I think it will go well. All right, so there's a couple of things that are being sold here, not only furniture or the premises, um, but some sophisticated security technology um, and also, as you mentioned, the, the copper smelter. But what kind of uh, customers or, or people coming to bid uh, does an auction like this attract? This really attracts everybody from the wholesaler to the motor vehicle dealer to the end user, uh, the person that would like a f car just to run around for his kids to get to the varsity. So there's really f office furniture that's really in immaculate conditions, basically spanking you. And uh, for anybody who wants to set up an office, uh, you're going to get uh, furniture, equipment um, uh, that will go at a uh, far reduced price as opposed to buying it new. And lastly then, um, coming back to the claims by Jared Watson, do you anticipate any sort of attempt to uh, de derail the auction, um, perhaps in court or, or other means? Uh, well, our instructions are, and this is a court order, which there hasn't been, that we've been told that the auction is taking place and we are planning that the auction is placed and we assure everybody that whatever, whatever one buys will be free of any alien or hypothetic. It will be free and they will have full title for the vehicles, for any of the items that they bid on for tomorrow. All right, thank you so much. Uh, that's Mr. Clive Lazarus, spokesperson for Park Village Auctioneers. And as you can see behind me, uh, there's a lot of interest here, more people coming to arrive and view the campuses. And uh, much of the interest for 
rolling on the furniture and the high-tech security equipment, which is, of course, installed across the different buildings on this campus. And then uh, a lot of interest in the vehicles as well, particularly these utility vehicles, some of the buckies and even the trucks and heavy-duty machinery. For now, it's back to you, Tamila. All right, Govan Whittles, we'll leave our conversation at that.